What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre, and today I'm gonna be doing an update on HCMC stock and I will show you some amazing facts about this company. First of all, brief summary about uh, healthier choices. Uh, HCMC Corporation is a holding company which focuses on providing consumers with healthier daily choices with respect to nutrition and other lifestyle alternatives. It operates through the following segments – grocery and vapor. And as you can see, all the rumors and all the price action, crazy price actions uh, around this company, they are all about uh, this uh, news. And it was published on November the 30th. And it says uh, Healthier Choices Management uh, Corporation files patent infringement lawsuit against uh, Philip Morris. And uh, we have uh, the most recent data. It was published on Wednesday, March the 10th, 2021. And it says. Uh, Deadline for Plaintiff Healthier Choices Management Corporation to file its response to defendant's uh, motion to dismiss is March 22nd, 2021. And the deadline for defendants Philip Morris USA and Philip Morris Products SA uh, to file their reply is April 16th. The previous uh, dates for HTMC to make their response uh, was uh, by the March 15th. And for now, they have one more week to make this uh, response. And I think uh, it is all about uh, some kind of negotiations uh, between uh, Philip Morris and uh, HCMC. It's just only my thoughts and uh, I, I think about it because of this information. We are on uh, Julian Saunders' Twitter. Uh, he, is, he is a great person and he makes a lot of uh, due diligence about HCMC and uh, you can uh, follow his Twitter and uh, you will never regret about uh, this decision. And uh, here is some latest information. Uh, he, uh, it is uh, due diligence uh, made by Jonathan Sanders and uh, Mark Rumbold, uh, also great person. And uh, it says uh, HCMC connecting some legal dots and uh, we have several facts. Fact number one, the Altria Group owns Philip Morris Aka PM. Fact number two, HCMC is suing PM. Fact number three, Cousin O'Connor, recently voted number one law firm, represents HCMC in their case against Philip Morris, which again is owned by the Altria Group. Uh, fact number four, Cousin O'Connor, they assisted on IP due diligence, represented the Altria Group in their acquisition of uh, John Middleton for $2.9 billion. See attachment. And I will show you all the attachments in a couple of minutes. Opinion. Go and check uh, Barry Golub's uh, track record. This guy has a ridiculous winning record and most of it uh, ended uh, in settlements. Also, I will show you it uh, in attachment. Reminder, 95 to 97 of patent li litigation ends in settlement. And first attachment, uh, it is a screenshot of uh, Cousin O'Connor uh, website and it says uh, assisted in the IP due diligence of the $2.9 billion Altria Group Incorporated acquisition of John uh, Middleton. Next attachment. Uh, it is a data of uh, Barry P. Golub, as you can see. Here uh, only the settlements before the trial and uh, it's uh, just recent, recent work of uh, Barry Golub. Uh, next uh, information, uh, it is uh, about uh, block trades and uh, I have to quote all the information and uh, it is also made by Julian Sanders and Mark uh, Rumbold. And uh, first of all, some introduction of uh, block trades. Due to the size of block trades, both on the debt and equities markets, individual investors rarely, if ever, make block trades. In practice, these trades typically occur when significant hedge funds and institutional investors buy and sell large sums of bonds and shares in block trades via investment banks and other intermediaries. Therefore, block trades are usually conducted uh, through an intermediary rather than the hedge fund or investment bank purchasing uh, the securities normally, as they would for smaller amounts. And uh, as you can see, on February, during February 2021, there were 11 trading days, where a total of 11.4 billion shares were bought via block trades. See attachment. And uh, as well, I will show you this attachment in a minute. Uh, during March 2021, there were 7 trading days uh, where a total of uh, 3.27 billion shares were bought via block trades. 
And here is some disclaimer that it is just opinion. Uh, the above is based on fact and we want to stick uh, to facts only. Who is doing the buying? We will try to find it out. Are there being sold? Not. According to the same account we are using. So, let me show you the attachment. These block trades uh, made on February and uh, it says 11.4 billion shares bought and uh, we don't know who was the buyer. And now for the March uh, 3.27 billion shares bought with unknown buyer, uh, we can see uh, we can see that uh, someone who knows a lot of uh, information about this company, uh, he buys these shares. And uh, the latest data we are on Mark Rumbold uh, uh, Twitter, and the latest data, the latest tweet was uh, published uh, just a couple of hours ago. And uh, as you can see, uh, here is another purchase of uh, around 80 million dollars size. And before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, in this case you won't miss my next video, and hit the like button, it helps me a lot. So, from the technical standpoint, uh, we can see uh, this price action and we had a huge spike in uh, price uh, during the last session on March 11th and uh, this spike uh, was uh, of more than 40% and uh, at the end we can see that this candle is rather bearish. It's not so bearish uh, if we compare the volume. Here we can see the green volume and uh, it is uh, uh, five, uh, almost five times higher than this one. And if this volume of this last candle were comparable with this one, it would be a huge sign uh, of bearish sentiment. And for now, we have mixed uh, feelings about uh, this uh, candle, but nevertheless, uh, as you can see, we have uh, the same support on RSI and RSI even didn't hit it for now. And uh, on MACD, right here, we had uh, some uh, bullish momentum and we starting to gain to the upside. But now we have uh, some kind of curvature. As you can see, we might have this price action and then another spike of negative momentum. And uh, then uh, we will have, we will go to the positive side. On the price action, it will be some kind of uh, sell-off again and in my opinion during these days these uh, these market makers these market movers will add their position as well and uh, from the technical standpoint i think uh, uh, in uh, several months i think uh, from two to five months we will see the settlement of uh, the lawsuit and uh, i think uh, we it will be uh, it will be beneficial for HCMC com company and that's why it will be very profitable for your portfolio to have this stock uh, in it. And uh, I think uh, this all information that I want to provide you for now. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. See you guys and girls next time. Bye.